Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode. I'm that car guy, Tim, and today we're doing something a little different. Summer is here, the weather's gorgeous. It's currently 26 degrees Celsius. That means it's camping season. We're gonna go out and try out the new truck bed tent, show you how to set that up, and we'll give you a uh, overnight review of it. So come along for the journey. Let's have some fun. Right now we're just driving up the little road, I guess you can call it, up to Lackett Lake. Uh, it's, it's a road compared to some of the other stuff we've been down on, some adventures. But I'm not going to tell you exactly how to get here because how you get here is part of the adventure. And uh, I'll only tell you we're in the Lackett Lake area. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. If you know where it is, don't post about where it is let people find it because that's part of the adventure. All right, so we are in the location. Now we just have to do a little bit more off-roading to get to where Mark is. Yeah, we're meeting Mark and his two munchkins here. Oh, I see him. He's brought his Range Rover to his rooftop tent. Sick. All right, so what we have here, you guys, is the back roads this thing here is built for the bed of your truck so we'll see how quick this thing sets up and how easy it is now they they say it's supposed to be really easy and it looks pretty easy in a couple poles so let's try it out whoa hold your horses for a second let me tell you about the partnership that's made today's video possible Cordetti Motorsports. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, I know you've heard the name. Jeff Cordetti is a certified professional off-road OHV and first aid instructor who's taught his courses all over the territories and Alberta. He brings his experience and enthusiasm for the great outdoors to a small class-sized learning experience, ensuring you're getting the best training for your bike. Based in Pincher Creek, Alberta, getting certified with Cordetti Motorsports ensures you're ready to tackle any off-road situation or first aid scenario safely and professionally. Whether your company is looking to certify some employees or you're just looking to add some qualifications to your resume, get in touch with Jeff at Cordetti Motorsports and book your session today. Big thanks to Cordetti Motorsports for sponsoring this week's video. Okay, so this is pretty cool here. They have the instructions sewn right into the carry bag, which is really, really handy because you don't want some, this can easily get thrown into the fire as kindling, but sewn in, it's not going anywhere. easiest but keep in mind this is my first time setting it up and I have the swing box there so that's probably not helping things but uh, let's see where these straps go
carved by one of Mark's kids. Quality workmanship, I'd say. Right on. So, this is the tent all set up. Now, all we have to do is insert all the gear. As you can see, I've totally prepared for this. This was literally like Mark texting me, hey, you want to come camping? Okay, 30 minutes later, truck's packed. So that's about as good as we're going to get. But we'll head in and actually set it up nicely. One thing I would say if you are going to get this is uh, bring a foamy. Uh, obviously, I did not bring a foamy. Um, you can definitely feel the truck bed through uh, the floor, but that's to be expected. It's, it's a tent. But nice and roomy. I'm 5'7 for reference. And uh, let's see if I can lay down. Pretty sure I can lay down fully in this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can lay down in this, no problem. Room to spare. Maybe someday we'll have a channel dog. That would be fun. Have a little dog in here, too. But uh, you know what, if you're looking for a cheap alternative to rooftop tent like Mark's, uh, you're on a budget or you're just saving up and you just want to get out with adventure or campsite, but you don't want to tow a trailer or set up a tent on the ground, you're up off the ground away from all the bugs. And uh, it's a nice solution for truck bed size. And there's plenty of different size options too, whether you have a long box, short box, uh, mid-sized truck, full-size truck, they've got a tent for you. So. We're gonna zip this up. We're gonna enjoy the fire that we grew the Mark's kids made and um, update you in the morning. Elon Musk holding his dog coin. This is Elon's Starlink. Well, good morning, you guys. As I said, uh, the morning I tell you how it was. And honestly, it was awesome. I would, however, recommend buying a foamy because, as you can see, you can totally see the bed of the truck. It's hard. <laughs> so buy yourself a foamy uh, to put down on the bed of the truck, like inside the tent. Uh, and you'll be good. So the cool thing that Napier's done is with the poles, they've color coded them. This one here goes on the top. There's two black ones. Those ones go like an X through the top. And then there's a gray one that goes through the front here. So that's really smart. Makes setup nice, easy, quick. Once you get used to it, it's literally a snap. All right, so overall thoughts on the truck bed tent, I definitely recommend getting a foamy for the floor because holy Toledo, without one, it's not the most comfortable. I love the fact though that I'm off the ground and in the bed of the truck, just a little bit more security from the crawly things and all the smaller animals. You're also not gonna pack away a muddy tent if it rains, just a wet one. And honestly, I kind of like that idea a lot better. <laughs> the ceiling height in this tent is quite impressive and honestly, the setup was pretty easy with the color-coded poles. Now, the first time setting up, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a mess while you're figuring out know, all the straps and all that. But honestly, the second time, it'll be a breeze. The whole tent seemed quite secure and stable and the poles, they didn't feel cheap at all, which is really nice. There's plenty of room inside and loads of windows to let the light or let the breeze through. There's even a roof vent to try to control the condensation. Overall, I quite enjoyed my night in the tent even though it wasn't the most comfortable, but you know what, that's not the tent at all. That's me for not bringing a foamy. If you're looking for an affordable alternative to a rooftop tent that's quick and easy to set up and pack away, I highly recommend this one. The Napier Backroads truck bed tent will run you just shy of 300 bucks, depending on your truck bed size. For that price though, honestly, it's well worth the investment and it's a quality unit too. This one here is from Canadian Tire, but I'm sure they're available at retailers throughout the US, Australia, and Europe. But hey, that's it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. 
be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell to stay up to date and drop a thumbs up and a comment while you're at it because trust me i love reading your comments thanks so much for tuning in and a big thanks for core daddy motorsports for sponsoring this week's video i'm that car guy tim have fun get her done